Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bridget Morris and I talk about things that are specific carbohydrate diet related. You can also check my Instagram account. I'll put it up right there. Uh, on there I also talk about specific carbohydrate diet related things. Uh, I also post a lot of pictures of what I eat in the day. So Today's video, I'm actually really excited. Uh, it's something that I eat all the time. Um, I'm actually like a big soup person. I generally like soup. I think it's just easier to digest um, and it's just so flavorful. And I think that specifically now being in the fall season, it's one of the things that you just go to, you know, like comfort foods or like warm, uh, warm bowls of soup. I feel like it's just so comforting. You can just like maybe hold your hands on it. It's like a warm cup of coffee, a warm cup of tea. You can just hold it but it's just something really hearty and um, I really enjoy soup specifically in the fall. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do a split pea soup that is specific carbohydrate diet friendly. What I really like about this recipe as well it's just like beyond easy. Uh, it's yet again another crock pot amazing recipe. You can like just dump it all in and it does all the work for you. So if you want to learn how to make this split pea soup please keep watching. So the first thing you want to do is to soak your split peas. <laughs> you have to do this the day before and that's going to be helping to remove the starch out of the peas. I'm just quickly sifting through them to see if I can find any rocks. Please go ahead and remove them if you find them. Now you're going to be submerging the peas. They will be expanding so don't be afraid to add lots of water. In this video you will not see that I actually halfway through changed the water and put new water in. So this is the next day. You can see how they've expanded. So so now from here, I'm going to be removing the water and getting them ready for the actual soup. So in today's recipe, we're going to be using the pre-soaked split peas, some diced carrots, some diced onions, some cloves of garlic, Thyme, so about one tablespoon, bay leaves, four cups of chicken stock, and then salt and pepper for taste. What you also be needing is some meat. So I'm going to be using pork. I get these at Costco. They're like pork steaks. They're really thick as you can see. So I'm going to cut them in really small pieces. So from here I cut them in slithers and I'll be cutting them in smaller pieces. Probably about a quarter inch to maybe half an inch. When you're going to take your spoon through your soup, you don't want to be having giant pieces of meat. So as you can see here, I'm dicing them in smaller pieces. All right, now for the mixing. So from here, we're just gonna put all of our ingredients together. You're gonna take your trusty old crock pot and just dump all of the ingredients one by one. For the garlic, you can easily mince it, but I have this nice little hand contraption that does it for you. It's absolutely amazing and it cuts it all for you. Easy cleaning, which is what I like. Once all the ingredients are in, you just want to go ahead and stir it well so everything's mixed perfectly. And then the last thing you want to do is add a little bit of salt and pepper to your soup. All right, so we're gonna put in the crock pot. I always put it on high for about five and a half hours and then we'll let it do its magic. All 
All right, this is what the soup looks like after five and a half hours. You can see how it's so perfectly cooked and it smells absolutely amazing. I can't wait to pour myself a giant bowl of this. Bon appétit. And there you go, guys. That is how you make specific carbohydrate diet friendly split pea soup. I hope you like this video and please leave in the comments below if you've done this recipe like this or maybe use other herbs and other spices. I'm always up to trying new things. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel and sharing this video with anybody else that you feel would enjoy this uh, recipe. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a minute in my next video. Bye.